my sweet and beautiful friends. Today is my second decluttering video and I am doing my lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, whatever they are. Um, I don't have quite a, enough to do like lip glosses. I might own 10 lip glosses. I'm just recently getting into lip gloss. Um, I don't know why I never didn't wear lip gloss. Today I have actually, um, I usually wear nudes or when I'm feeling like feisty, I put on a red and I thought a red would look really pretty today. So I'm just wearing the Revlon 006 in really red. And then I topped it with this gorgeous intense butter gloss in orange, orangeicle. So I thought that looked really pretty together. Now you're gonna see a pattern. I am a crazy person for warm nudes. I don't really wear cool tone nudes. Um, I definitely love my warm nudes and you're gonna see that and you're gonna think that I'm crazy. Now the goal is to definitely toss out half of these. They're old. It's time for them to go. I would never ever expect someone to take my lipstick. It is something that goes on your mouth. It's not the same as sanitizing shadows. So unfortunately, a lot of these are gonna have to go. So if you're interested in seeing me declutter some of my lipsticks, keep watching. Now you cannot judge me because when I show you the amount of nudes, you're gonna think they all look the same. To me, they look different. To many people, they're gonna look the same. By no means do I think my collection is that big. I know there are people with three times the amount of what I have, but I thought it would just be fun to share. Plus, I had to declutter some of this crap anyway. So I hope you subscribe. Definitely stick around and so you don't miss out on anything we do here. And let's get on with it. I don't know how I'm going to position to show you because it's a little different than the palettes. Um, I don't know if I should sit here and kind of like hold it up and tell you getting rid of or keeping. Um... I don't know if you should just see my hands. I'm not sure yet. So we will be right back once I figure that out. Okay, so we're just gonna do it this way. Here is the bin and I'm just gonna sit here and sort of show you what I have. And we'll do a pile here for getting rid of and a pile for keeping. So I'm gonna grab a couple at a time because if I didn't, we would be here all night. So the very first two I have is Magic Wand from ColourPop and Ashton from ABH. I know they look almost similar, but they are very, very different. This is very new from my ABH. I'm gonna keep that and I'm definitely gonna to toss this because I've had it for a long time and I went to use it and it has a smell so it's definitely time to get rid of. These NYX liquid um, soft matte creams are amazing. This is in Cairo. This is my everyday kind of like mixing lipstick because I never wear one because I'm a crazy person. So definitely gonna keep that. Will 100% repurchase. Let me back you up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, now let's grab a couple at a time here. So these all probably look absolutely identical. So I have ABH, which is obviously Anastasia Beverly Hills in Milkshake. Then I have ABH's Stripped. Then I have Stila's Angelo. And then I have Bellissima. Belliss Bellissima in Stila. I am going to keep the two ABH's and I'm going to keep Angelo and I'm going to part with Bellissima because I've had it for quite a long time. Then I'm going to move on to these two Revlon lipsticks that I have right here on the top. I have 9, 10. Sit down, Gilly. So I'm going to move right on to these two. I have 9, 10 from Maybelline Bare It All. And then I have 970 Nude Embrace. These are amazing, amazing nudes. Their nude line is incredible. I remember when it first came out and it was like a hit because people were looking for nudes and they were hard to come by. Again, I'm gonna keep these. I'll just show you really, really fast. You can see I use this for mixing. This is a great color. I'm gonna keep on, hang on to that. And this one is a very unique pinky, a little more cool tone than I like, but it's a great lipstick and I use it a lot. Now I'm just gonna go through my Gerard Cosmetics. My dog decided to chew this one. This is Gerard Cosmetics in Fire Engine. It's just this gorgeous red. I'm going to part with it because they did chew it and I have other reds that I like and I don't wear red enough to keep a ton of them. Then I have 1995, which is my literal favorite. I literally am empty. That can go in the trash. As you can see, this is like my fifth tube of 1995. They 100% changed the color from the original one. I don't care what anybody says. This is not the same color. The very original one was much more brown and this is much more red toned. 
still gorgeous still um use it not as often as i did because it is so different from the original i went through about five of these from gerard cosmetics probably won't repurchase because i found other nudes that i love but i'm going to finish that one up but they definitely changed the formula this is cashmere from lime crime and definitely going to get rid of it it stinks like vinegar almost i've had it for a long time plus it's pretty much empty that's a great cool tone nude i remember that was so popular about five years ago then I have this beautiful lipstick from Becca. It is in the color taupe. It's just this gorgeous brown. Gonna keep that. It's very new and I think the packaging's nice. It's just, um, well, it was magnetic and that's a great lipstick. Um, I guess I don't have as many lipsticks as I thought. I did declutter probably the same amount I ended up getting rid of. Then I have Frickin' Frack from ColourPop. Gonna keep that one. This is an amazing color. It's a very mauve brown, great color. Then I have the one I was wearing today, which is Orangecicle from the NYX Butter Glosses. Gonna keep that. That probably shouldn't have been in here. Then I have Contempo from the Lippy Sticks from ColourPop. It's time to part with this one. This was my everyday color for about a year when I was really, really into the mobs, but it's old and it needs to go. I've gone through two of these. Again, that's Contempo and it's the color sticks from the color lippies from ColourPop. That's a great lipstick, but I just don't wear mobs as much as I used to. This one is First Class from ColourPop. Again, another one. It's just this like um spicy orangey it looks like spice from abh definitely i'm going to get rid of it it is the ultra matte lip these are way too drying plus it's just time to let that go then i have here uh purdy persimmon purdy persimmon from wet and wild definitely going to keep this this is again it looks very similar to this i really really enjoy orange nudes over like a blue based sorry i really prefer orange red instead of like a blue based red now a lot of times i'll wear the blue based reds or like a true red but my favorite favorite is an orangey red i just feel like it looks a little more flattering on me and i'm definitely going to keep this these wet and wild ones even though these are the old packaging are incredible and you can get them sometimes for 99 cents it just depends on the sale and this is 970 purdy persimmon a lot of these MAC lipsticks I'm going to have to get rid of. Um, some of them are newer, like this one, Chili. I love this color. It's going to be the most perfect color for fall. It's like this, um, almost looks like a chili color, like a, um, like a cumin spice or something like that, like very brick red. This is a great color. Here, let me just show you because it's so, so unique. It's very brown red. I love this. This is brand new. And this is in the color Chili. This is incredible. I have nothing else in my collection like this and I'm so excited to wear this in the fall. I got this um, the end of spring and it just isn't a spring or summer color. It's definitely for fall. So gonna keep that. This is Steady Going from MAC. Definitely gonna retire this and get rid of it. It's just this pink that I don't really care for. Um, yeah, just ready to get rid of it. Please don't eat those. Just ready to get rid of that and it's not the best color. Then I have Saint Germain. I'm not sure if anybody remembers this color. Um, very Barbie pink, time to go. That is not something I wanna be wearing in my early 30s. Not that you couldn't if you wanna wear this in your early 30s and I might change my mind and wear it all through my 40s. But for right now, I'm gonna retire that girl. She was fun. And I wore her quite a bit when I was much younger. I just don't love it very much anymore. Same with Candy Yum Yum. Um, it's just too, too pink for me. I don't even really want to keep it because it's never going to be worn. It's just going to sit in my collection and it's time to go. I have this mint. Okay, just moving right along. I have a couple more from MAC. I have Fox, which is this gorgeous, like, mauve nude definitely going to hang on to that because it's very 90s very very beautiful if I'm going to wear a um like a mauve nude then I have twig which I literally love I think this is a great um mauve if I'm going to go for a mo more mauve look um it's this one's a little more pink and this one is definitely 
in my opinion, has a little more nude to it. I know they look so, so similar, but there are a little bit of a difference. This one has a little more mauve in it. This one has a little more pink. This one has a little more nude to it, in my opinion. So definitely gonna keep both of those. This one is Dopey from ColourPop. I can show you really quick. I don't even know if they make this color anymore. I'm getting rid of it because it is so old, but it is this beautiful um, dark mauve, but I have enough of those colors that I don't need to keep this one, especially because a lot of my ColourPop I bought a long time ago when it's just time to part. Recently, I bought this Ulta. Well, my sister brought it home for me. It's the Ulta Backseat Driver Matte Lip uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Gloss Duo. It's a mauvey color, but it has it looks mauvey in the tube when you put it on. It's very peachy, and she really, really hated it. Um, it's a strange color, even though it looks beautiful in the tube. It's not really what it looks like on the lips. As you can see, it pulls extremely pink. I am gonna hang on to it because it is brand new. Okay, so I have some really great nudes from Maybelline. I think Maybelline is one of my favorite, favorite um, lipsticks. Uh, lipsticks and this is 955 Espresso Exposed. It's this gorgeous dark chocolate which I'm going to keep because it does pull a little tiny bit purple but it is like a chocolate brown. Going to be really really fun for this fall season. Going to be great for this fall and again that's 955 Espresso Exposed and then I have 657 Nude Nuance and it's their matte nude collection which I literally am obsessed with. I wear this all the time with my Cairo from NYX and I mix the two and it makes the most perfect nude for me. Um, these are gonna be amazing for this fall. I love darker browns in the fall. They're my favorite go-to. Um, I have Celebrity Skin. This is going in the bin because as you can see, it's pretty much empty. I was, you know, clinging to the last little bits because I just don't want to repurchase from his brand anymore. Um, no particular reason except I just don't agree with everything he feels and that's okay as that's all I want to say about that. No big deal. Um, I really love this color from ColourPop called Exaggerated. I don't think they make it anymore unfortunately. It's probably the only peachy nude that I have. It's very very unique. I might hang on to it until I see if they have it because I just smelt it. There's like no smell to it. It's so, so, so unique. I don't have anything quite like this color. And when I have a tan, this looks really, really nice. Again, that is ColourPop Exaggerated. Okay. These Milani ones are amazing. I first bought these when they came out. Um, so it's probably time to part with these. This is one of my favorites in the color Lust. It's just this gorgeous mauve, amazing. That's gonna go in the trash because I will repurchase these because they are so inexpensive and they're amazing. I'm not really big in the liquid lipsticks anymore, so I don't know when I'll be repurchasing any of this. I really, really love regular bullet lipsticks right now and I really love lip gloss with my lipstick. So I'm kind of like out of the phase of the liquid lipstick, sadly. Then I have Salem, which is this gorgeous, then I have Salem from Lime Crime, which is again, this just perfect brown. I think there is nothing like it. It is so, so gorgeous. I'm gonna hang on to this one. This one isn't anywhere near as old as this one. As you can see, this one is just done. I bought this one about a year and a half ago when they had one of their sales, I believe. And I just think it is the witchiest, most perfect color for this coming fall. Um, I love to wear that on like Halloween because my husband never ever meant, he never makes comments about my makeup even when I go through phases of doing some weird things like when I wear jewels on my eyes or where I wear a ton of glitter or I wear blue eyeshadow. He never ever says anything. The only thing he's ever made a comment on is he doesn't love darker lipsticks on me like that. And he never told me I couldn't wear them. He just, it's not his favorite. So I kind of just wear them on special occasions more for me than anything. So then the next three nudes I have are from ABH. Oh, no, only two are. So I have Naked and Pure Hollywood, 100% keeping these. These are my literal favorites. Everybody has seen them. And then I have Vice from 
ColourPop, which I feel like is a major dupe, not for Naked, for Pure Hollywood. I know like they don't look like it. Maybe they aren't as close as I thought, but maybe they are. That's ABH, and this is Vice from ColourPop. Oh, never mind. They're nothing alike. Vice from ColourPop is amazing. ColourPop is amazing because it is good for mixing, so I'm going to hang on to that color. Then I have Divine Wine $6.95 from um, Maybelline. Again, it's just this beautiful brick red. I know it looks brown, but it pulls very purpley red. Definitely going to hang on to that. That's amazing for this coming fall. Um, I have Ofra in Veronica. Verona, I'm sorry. It's too cool tone for me. Probably going to give this to my sister because I've literally never, ever used it. And it would be a shame to just throw it out because it is expensive. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell on websites if the things, if a color is going to pull more warm or cool unless it tells you. And this is one that I bought by mistake or maybe I bought it when I was more into cooler tones. They're just not for me, so I'm definitely going to pass that on. Same as this color from Bow and Arrow. I got this in a boxy charm. I think I swatched it and never used it. My sister will love it because it's extremely cool tone. Although this one is a beautiful cool tone that I don't mind wearing. Again, it's Bow and Arrow. I might hang on to this one just to have one cool tone in my collection. Then I have a classic, which is one of my favorite, favorite holiday reds. And that is 440 Cherries in the Snow. I know some people probably feel like this is much more pink, which it is. It's very classic, one of their older lipsticks. Um, my great-grandmother wore something very, very similar, and I think that's why I love it so much. I am definitely going to repurchase this and keep that in my um, pile because I love that for the holiday. Then I have this travel size from YSL. I think I got this as a promo or like a perk for Sephora in the color. Okay, it doesn't have the color, but it's just this red. It's gorgeous. It's very sheer. So I'm probably going to hang on to it because I have nothing like it. It almost looks like the color of blood. It's not my favorite, but I think it will look pretty over lipsticks and it's YSL. And it's literally brand new. I got it maybe a month ago when I ordered my perfume. Then, of course, the good old um, Never Nude from the new packaging from Wet n Wild. Absolutely keeping it. It's one of the best nudes. Again, it's Never Nude from Wet n Wild. I don't know if anybody remembers these, the Vivids. Um, these are incredible. And this is a neon red. Now, I would keep this except it's just too old. I will repurchase this. It's an amazing, amazing red. And again, it's neon red. It's so beautiful in the summertime. Okay, so two more MAC lipsticks. I have Velvet Teddy. Um, as you can see, this is well loved. Time to retire. It's a little old. I've had it for about four years. I, I can repurchase that. That's a very popular color. And this is brand new. This is Whirl. Um, it's very cool toned for me. Very, very cool toned. Gonna hang on to it. I guess I wasn't um, aware how quite cool toned it was when I purchased it online. Um, I just bought it off of recommendations for other people. It's not a bad color, just a little too cool for me. Another one of my absolute everyday colors is London from NYX Soft Matte Creams. These are incredible, by far the best lipstick over high end over anything these are the best i love these and you can get them on amazon for like four dollars and even in store they're under seven incredible i absolutely recommend them i have the color um i have the color 714 from jeffree star it is absolutely unwearable in my opinion just for me it used to smell like watermelon. It's time to go. I've had it for a long time. It's just way, way, way too pink. I used to mix this and the color um, watermelon soda together. I used to mix these together and I, it would make a really, really pretty neon color. But it's just time to get rid of both of these. That is gorgeous. And then when I would mix them, it would just make like this gorgeous 
color, but they're both old and they gotta go. And again, I don't really wear these crazy pinks. So I'm doing pretty good. I've gotten rid of um, quite a bit of lipstick. We got a couple more to go. So I have Clueless, which I don't think they make anymore from ColourPop and Bumble. Unfortunately, I have to part with both of these. They're too old. Um, Bumble is the most gorgeous. It's like my favorite color in the whole, whole world. It's just so drying and I can't wear it. I put it on, I put it over lip gloss. I These ultra mattes are so dry from ColourPop. I don't know if they've reformulated them, but Bumble is gorgeous. I just can't wear it. And Clueless is gorgeous, but it is definitely time to part with them. They are too old. I have two more MAC lipsticks. I have Brave, which is absolutely stunning. Definitely gonna hang on to that. And I have the color Amplified. It's just this gorgeous purple. I will be repurchasing it. This one's just older and it's time to part with her. Absolutely perfect, stunning for the fall and even spring, this is beautiful. It's just this muted purple and I love it a lot. I need to wear that one more and I'm definitely going to give that a repurchase. Let's see here. We have Cami from ColourPop. Definitely time to get rid of that. It's old. Uh, it was an everyday color when I was into the more mauves. Then I have Blossom Dan Oh, Blossom Out from Wet n Wild. Super duper nude. Time to let it go. It's old. I don't even think they make this. I think it was a limited edition color. As you can see, I mixed it. Yes, it's limited edition. This is so old. Probably three years old. <clears throat> I'm not like crazy about expired makeup. I don't, unless it's like really bad, I usually just use it. But some stuff I have to get rid of, especially if it goes on your mouth with everything going on. It's just time to part with some of this. Um, this one is gorgeous. It's, I believe they still make this one. As you can see, it's dirty. It's broke. It's Coraline. It's the most gorgeous, gorgeous red. Again, it's an orange red. I love it. It's just time to part with it. Okay, we're just moving along. Now I have 655 Daringly Nude, one of my favorites from Maybelline. Definitely keeping that. Oh, this color is fantastic. It's um, barely there from Ulta. I never knew Ulta had their own brand. I used almost all of it. I got it as a free gift. It's not a big color payoff. But for mixing, to give you a little gloss, it is exactly what it says, barely there. If you can't wear a lot of um, lipstick for like work or you wanna be a little more modest, this color is for you. It's incredible and I believe it's under $10 and look how fancy the packages, packaging is. Again, it's barely there from Ulta, amazing. Then I have Nude Thrall. 755 from Maybelline. It's this weird nude that I've never kind of seen before. I love it. As you can see, you can barely see it. It's almost identical to my skin tone. It's perfect. Here, let me try to put it on for you. As you can see, it is very, very close to my skin tone. It's great for mixing and I love it. Again, that's Maybelline 755 Nude Thrill. This is Skinny Dip from uh, Wet n Wild brand new. I'm going to keep that one. Um, this one is Never Nude from Wet n Wild. Definitely going to keep that. I have a small sample of the Too Faced Melted in Sellout. I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, it's just old. Then I have Sea Red Resort from Wet n Wild. Got to get rid of it. It's old. It was limited edition. Then I have one of the most classics. It's one of my favorite reds in the whole world and it's Fire and Ice from Revlon. It's absolutely the most perfect true red. So I'm gonna keep this one when I want a real cherry red. This is the one I always pull out. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so I have two of my favorite reds, um, Anna Nicole and Red Rum. I'm gonna have to find something that is similar um, because once I'm used up, that's it. Um, these are great. I love these two. I love, they're very different reds. This one's orange red, this one's true red or blue red. 
gonna keep them for now, but they are some of my favorite reds. Then I have Flirty from Dose of Colors. It's kind of, of a newer one. Um, it's probably one of the only pinks that I actually really enjoy. It's really, really subtle and pretty. Then I have Beloved from Milani, an amazing color. Gonna get rid of it just cause it's older, but I highly, highly recommend checking these out. Same with this color. This was my go-to. Um, it's Milani Adore. So, so good. Perfect nude. As you can see, it doesn't, it's kind of like a neutral nude. I would definitely recommend it. Gonna repurchase that one for sure. Gonna repurchase that one for sure. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, probably the only like fluorescent pink that I have and it's Dose of Colors Kiss of Fire. Um, I don't want to swatch it because it is so vibrant. It looks red, but it's more of a hot pink. Probably the only hot pink that I have. Definitely going to keep that. It's amazing. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end. So these Huda Beauty ones are literally my favorite. I'm just going to run through the colors. I have Game Night, Board Meeting. They're nudes. Love them. Then I have one red from them, which is incredible. Look how gorgeous. Come on, that's so perfect for fall. And this is in promotion day, 100% love that. And my absolute favorite is anniversary. It's one of the best nudes ever. As you can see, I have almost used the entire thing. I love it, it's the best nude. I know these are expensive. That's why I only have four of them. And I have two backups for the first two I showed you. Um, when I first received them, two of them were broke and they ended up sending me two extra ones. These are incredible. I know they're expensive, but if you want to maybe just purchase one and try them, I highly recommend them. Then I have Stila. This is probably one of my more wild colors. I love this one in Como. It's gorgeous. It's the most beautiful purple. I love it. Then I have Stila Fiery. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one because I've, this is one of the first liquid lipsticks I ever bought. Definitely time to retire, but this is an amazing red. Then this color is one of my favorite purples. Um, it's in Baca. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, that one's a little more red. This one's definitely pulls a little more purple. I'm going to keep the more purple one. Then I don't know whatever made me buy this color. I think I saw Trisha Paytas wear it once in an Instagram post and I loved it. It's baby pink from ABH, getting rid of it. It's just not for me. My favorite red in the entire world will repurchase every single time I run out and it's spicy from ABH, the best orange red in the world, better than Anna Nicole from Jeffrey, better than any orangey red I've ever purchased keeping. Then I have Lovesick from Kat Von D. I'm going to get rid of it only because it is old. I'm going to keep Patina from Stila, one of my favorite mauves. It is a great mauve. Coming to the end here, then I have Muse from Violet Boss. Great, great nude. No, sorry, great mauve. Then I have the one I'm wearing today, which is really red from Revlon. Keeping it one of the best reds I've ever used. Then I have Riley, which is a sample size from Line Crime. I don't think it's an actual color, so I'm probably just going to get rid of it because it's not like I can even repurchase it. And last but not least is American Doll from ABH, 100% keeping it, one of the best reds. And I think I did good. So these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 lipsticks I'm going to get rid of. That's pretty damn good. So I hope you enjoyed this, you guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.